Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara and today I am doing what I got for Christmas plus um, the Christmas tag. And today is actually a collab with one of my favorite people on YouTube. Her name is Claire the Aware Beauty or that's her channel name. Her name is just Claire and she is awesome. Um, I really like her channel and we thought we would just kind of come together to, you know, do a conjoined video. And I think the holiday season should mostly be about giving and all that stuff. And I just want to give that disclaimer that I'm not trying to brag. I'm just happy to be home and with my family. That's where I am right now. If you haven't seen this background before, I filmed here a lot like a year and a half ago. Because um, I was here for the summer. Like I said, I am just so happy to be home. And I don't want that to get convoluted that, you know, I... I'm not in the Christmas spirit. Um, I love giving and I love um, all that stuff, but I know this is a very popular video, so I thought I would just share with you what I got for Christmas. And, you know, happy holidays. If you don't celebrate Christmas, um, I hope you had a great holiday, whatever that may have been that you celebrate. Claire does a ton of lookbook and styling videos. Those are some of my favorite. And she's super educational because she talks about different cruelty-free and non-toxic beauty products and brands and just stuff that I think goes overlooked a lot um, in the YouTube community and I personally love that. I think that's super helpful and just special and important that definitely gets bypassed and so definitely check out her channel. Again, I will link it down below. Do not forget to look out down below for everything. So we just thought we would film this together and please, please, please check out her channel. I know you will like it as much as I do. Um, it'll be the very first thing when you look in the description box. It'll be her channel and her video. So um, without further ado, let's just get into the video of what I got first. So I got a very good mix of practical things and then not so practical things. So first I'm going to share what my family got me from Sephora. So first I got this Too Faced Beautifully Blushed and Bronzed set. Um, this is really cute. So it came with two little blushes. This one is upside down. I think I'm actually going to give this one back to my mom because she really liked the color. But this one's just very pinky and pretty. And then it also came with Chocolate Soleil and Sun Bunny, which I'm not sure what these are. I think they're just bronzers and I think this one has like some sort of highlight glow to it. But I'm very excited about this. And it also came with a little brush. Next I got the Bite Beauty Fruit Scrub. Um, it's an exfoliator for your lips. I tried it today a little bit and I think I like it. Um, I just have chapstick on right now. I, should, I might put something else on over top top of it halfway through this video but yeah I really like this and then I got the Tarte Park F Princess Bronzer um, again just super pretty color and this was in my wish list so and so I'm really excited to have this as well and I will give you my thoughts about these products of course because that's what I do here so that's everything they got me from Sephora next they got me a Yankee Candle in Vanilla Cupcake I honestly think my mom regifted this to me from someone because she knows I love these and she really does not like super sweet candles. So um, that's just random, but I really like it. Next, I got a Disney calendar. Um, so this is very exciting. I had one of these last year. So in January, they have the good dinosaur. I've never seen that yet. But yeah, they just have, you know, some different kind of things. Here's Tinkerbell and Neverland. This may seem like a really childish thing, but I do not care. I love Disney so much. So I love this. Next, my mom got me a floral planner. I actually picked this one out. I really like it. Um, I mentioned that I think planners are a great gift for Christmas in my gift guide video, so of course I got one as well. And then I kind of got like an adult coloring book, which is super nice. These are all like nature pictures, um, and I'm not good at drawing or anything, but you know, this could definitely be fun. And I also got colored pencils to go with them. So this is super exciting. This was totally unexpected. Um, and I think it's a really nice gift. Next, I just got some gift cards. So oh my gosh. And my mom also got me um, these makeup removing wipes, which is awesome because I brought this pack home and I'm almost out. So this is super exciting. I think these have like 25 in them. So that's that's nice. It's random, but it's super nice. And now getting into the more practical kind of things, I got a mini crock pot, which I'm sure you will see on my channel. I might do some type of recipes because this will inspire me to cook. <laughs> 
I got new, uh, you know, bathroom mats. These are the exact ones I have, just a lot nicer, so expect some type of bathroom video, I'm not sure, but yeah, these are super practical and just something I didn't want to buy for myself, so that's nice that I got it. I really hope my hair is not all over the place. Um, I got the Choice by Nicholas Sparks. Um, my mom loves getting me Nicholas Sparks books. They're such an easy read and they're all so similar and lovey-dovey, but I do not care. I really really like this so that's awesome and I got a mug with a ton of candy on it in it so that is it for what I got for Christmas um I just kind of want to go through everything super quick but yeah I'm super thankful for everything I got I'm not trying to brag at all I just want to make that disclaimer multiple times so it's not you know misdrewed for anything else misdrewed I'm not sure if that's if that's a word. And now I'm going to go in with the Christmas tag questions that Claire sent me, so I'm just going to read through those now. And I will of course leave the questions down below. I tag everyone to do it. I think this is such a fun tag and I think, you know, we should all stay in the Christmas spirit as long as possible. So the first question is, what is your favorite holiday movie? And mine would have to be, hands down, Elf. I've seen it like four times this December alone. Um, it's one of my favorites. I love it so much. It's so funny to me. And number two is, what is your favorite Christmas colors? And that one's kind of weird to me. Um, I think red and green are nice, typical Christmas colors. Number three is, do you like to stay in your PJs or dress up on Christmas? So on Christmas Day, I'm normally just with my parents and my brother. Um, so it's a very small gathering right now. I am wearing PJs and fuzzy socks. And on Christmas Eve or any kind of Christmas parties is when I dress up and look kind of nicer. Number four is, if you could only buy one person a present this year, who would it be? Um, I would honestly want to say this is a hard question, but it's not at all. I would definitely buy my mom a present. She is my hero in every way, and I just want to spoil her. Um, so she would definitely be the one person that I would get a present if I had to choose just one. Number five is do you open your presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? And I open them on Christmas morning. Number six is how does your typical Christmas look like? Um, well... <laughs> Since I have grown up, I normally sleep in. Um, I was the youngest in my family, so it's kind of like what I wanted to do. How early I woke up was when we opened presents, so um, now I normally sleep in, and then I kind of rally up the troops to open presents, and we do all that, and then we kind of start cooking and um, just hanging out and making Christmas dinner, which is normally around 2. And then after that, we kind of just hang out again. Um, we really don't have any specific set traditions for actual Christmas day, except for just to spend time together. So that's kind of how that goes. Um, it's very, very nice and relaxing, and um, we all just make sure to hang out with each other. Number seven is, have you ever built a gingerbread house? And this December, I actually built two, and that was the first time I've ever done any. So yes, I have. Number eight is what do you like to do on your Christmas break? So I work down in my college town, so I was only able to get a week off for Christmas this year, which was fine. I'm just really taking the time to see family and hang out with them and relax, of course, and... Yeah, that's basically what I've done on this Christmas break, at least. Um, I used to go skiing a lot, or... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mostly just relax on Christmas break. Number nine is, do you have any Christmas wishes? And so it's actually after Christmas right now, but my wish is always just to spend time with family that I normally don't get to see. Um, yeah, that's pretty much always it. Number 10 is what is your favorite Christmas smell? And I love the smell of Christmas trees. And um, lately we haven't been getting a real tree. So instead we have a fake tree and then we have those little sensical type of things that I think you can buy at Target and probably other places. And they just smell like evergreen trees, I think. And it's just super nice. And I really, really like that smell. That's like my favorite smell. That and like cookies baking or something. And then number 11 is, what is your favorite Christmas meal or treat? And, hmm, I don't know. Um, I am pescatarian, so normally my 
mom makes me a separate salmon for myself and she makes it with lemon and brown sugar I think and that is one of my most favorite and like prized possessions um it is such it is so good it's it's really good um and then of course green bean casserole I love green bean casserole we should all have green bean casserole year round so that is the end of my video. I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to check out Claire's video. Be sure to check out her channel and subscribe. And leave me any kind of comment down below. I would love to hear what you have to say. And um, again, just happy holidays. I hope you had a great one. Whatever it is you may celebrate. And I will see you next time. Bye everyone.